Good afternoon and welcome to the Rapid City Legal and Finance Committee meeting for Wednesday, January 13th, 2016. I'd like to begin the meeting with a roll call and determination of quorum, please, Maggie. Thank you. Now's the time to adopt the agenda as presented today. If any committee member has any items that they uh, consider adding or subtracting, if not, I'll entertain a motion to adopt the agenda as presented. Move to adopt. I've got a motion by Nordstrom and a second by Drew to adopt the agenda. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The agenda has been adopted. Now is the time for general public comment. This is the period of time in the meeting that anyone in the audience can address the seated count committee members on any item that is currently not on today's agenda. I currently have no speaker request forms for general public comment. Am I missing anyone? Seeing none, public comment, general public comment is now closed. We're now moving on to consent items, public comment. Consent items on today's agenda are items one through 11. I currently have no speaker request forms for consent items one through 11. Am I missing anyone? Seeing none, public comment on consent items is now closed. At this time, is there any items on the consent agenda that any seated committee member would like to see pulled? Chair recognizes Alderman Laurenti. Thank you, Chair. I would like to pull item two, please. Item number two, Mr. Laurenti, or item number three? Item number two. All right. Any other items from any seated committee members today? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve consent items one through 11, except item number two. So moved. Got a motion by Laurenti, second by Nordstrom, to approve consent items one through 11, except item number two. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Any opposed? Consent items one through 11, except item number two, have been approved. Item number two is the resolution 2016-004 to donate property no longer needed for municipal purposes to the Oglala Lakota Sheriff's Office. Chair would recognize Alderman Laurenti. Thank you, Chair, and I, I don't know if we have somebody here that can answer a question on valuation for this property, because that, that would be my main question. I'm trying to find out Tracy, do you have any information? No, Tracy does not. Uh, Alderman Laurenti, I'm not sure we have anyone available that can answer that question. Would you like to send this item to council without rep uh, recommendation? And uh, hopefully we can get some information by mine by Tuesday night. I would, and I'd hope somebody would make that motion. And, uh, and I'll, let me just speak real quickly on why. My question was about the valuation of it, because we're talking about vehicles. We're not talking about just a couple of radios or something that we just recently donated to uh, the Humane Society, um, and it stayed within the city of Rapid City. We're talking about sending this outside of Rapid City, and we're talking about vehicles here and some radar equipment. I would assume that there's some decent value here that maybe the council should uh, take a look at this once we know that valuation and then make that decision. But to donate some property um, that may have some decent amount of valuation um, without knowing that seems a little premature, so I would hope somebody would make that motion. Thank you. No one else is making a, uh, a chair would like to recognize Alderman Nordstrom. As a courtesy, excuse me, as a courtesy, I'll do that uh, motion to send to council without recommendation. Got, Got a motion by Nordstrom and a second by Laurenti to send item number two to council Tuesday night at the city council meeting without recommendation. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We're now on to the non-consent items on today's agenda. Non-consent items include items 12 through 14. Now is the time for a public comment on items 12 through 14. I do have one speaker request form. Uh, Mr. Ben DeRuiter. DeRuiter. Uh, are, do you wanna address the committee? Before the item? Very well, if you would approach the podium, state your name and your affiliation to the city, and you have uh, three minutes, and the committee is all ears. My name is Ben DeRyder. I was living in the Big Sky Division and still have a house there. And I did canvas the entire neighborhood and did find that over 75% of the people 
probably over 80% if I got everyone that I'd sent mail to that said they were going to do it on the phone to agree to the annexation. However, the other component of the annexation is the voter registration list. And when I did get that, I noticed a number of deceased people, people that have been moved out for three or four years already. So that aspect of the 75% cannot be met. And you've indicated that you are for the city to pursue, <coughs> excuse me, an involuntary annexation. I, I am and did collect the signatures so we have more than 75% of the homeowners owning property in that area also for it. And thank you very much. That is item number 13 on today's non-consent items. I currently have no further speaker request forms for non-consent items. Am I, am I missing anyone? Seeing none, public comment is now closed on non-consent items 12 through 14. Item number 12 is the Human Relations Commission semi-annual report. Uh, we would like to have this report uh, heard one time, so the chair would like to recognize Alderwoman Drew. Um, as liaison to the um, Human Relations Commission, I don't believe they thought they'd get on the agenda today. Um, maybe they were uh, made aware of this, but I would guess that someone from the commission would have been here had they known. So um, I will just let them know they'll present on Tuesday. Yes, I believe the city attorney's office has already let them know so that we could hear the update once and not have to hear it twice, and that way they can address the full council Tuesday night. Well, they have a lot to report, so I think they'll be pleased with their report when, when they get here on Tuesday, so thank you. That is great, and thank you for being the liaison, Darla. We look forward to that report Tuesday night. So I'll entertain a motion to send to council without recommendation. So moved. Second. Got a motion by Laurenti to send item number 12, the Human Relations Commission semiannual report to the city council meeting Tuesday night without recommendation, second by Nordstrom. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 13 is a request for the involuntary annexation of the remaining Big Sky neighborhood. Chair would like to recognize Alderman Laurenti. Thank you, Chair, and I'd like to ask the city attorney a question on this, please. Yes, you may. Thank you. Joel, the 75% thing was brought up. Can you explain, if you can, uh, explain that threshold? Is that because you mentioned deceased, the speaker mentioned deceased. I just wondered how that plays into it. I would, if you could expound on that a little bit. Well, there's two requirements to voluntarily annex into the city. One is that a majority of the property owners consent to it, but also the registered voters. And I assume that's an attempt to make sure the people that actually live there um, are also consenting to the annexation. We have this issue, although in a much smaller area, where it's highlighted the problem with our voter registration, which it's really voluntary and nobody follows up on it. So when people are deceased, they don't, unless the county finds out, they don't remove them from the voter registration list. So I know we've talked to the Municipal League about looking at that requirement and maybe making a legislative change so that that isn't an impediment to people voluntarily annexing anymore. I think for this situation, it's very similar to the other one where you authorized us to move forward is in that there appeared to be a majority of the people out there that would like to be at this in the city, but because of the situation, um, they're gonna have difficulty getting approval. We, we frankly suspected there might be problem getting enough signatures and getting it all done, but we wanted to try doing, and this actually started under the former mayor, Sam Quaker. We wanted to try to see if we could get it done voluntarily. If we couldn't, um, I've always been a proponent one way or another. The areas, and what we're really talking about is the areas of the Big Sky subdivision where there are streets that need fixing um, based on our lawsuit against uh, mm -hmm. uh, Doyle Estes and his corporations. We have actually set aside money to fix these streets, but haven't fixed, we fixed the ones within the city or done work on the ones within the city, but we haven't done the work on the ones within the county yet. So essentially we'd annex in the, the streets and the areas that haven't been fixed yet, and then we would fix those streets. And then can, it would also make things easier on the lawsuit side. 
Um, Mr. Nooney, our attorney, I've talked to him on numerous occasions about it. One of the concerns they have is our ability to collect damages on the streets outside the city limits since the county is not party to the lawsuit. So if we annex it in at this point, it would clean it up. And as I discussed in the last one, um, staff doesn't of its own accord go forward with annexations. It's more of a policy decision. So that's why the next step is for you to authorize staff to start working on the documents necessary and, and do the annexation study and bring that forward so you can continue with the annexation. Would it and Alderman Laurenti, I believe the state is currently working on trying to set up an automatic check of the deceased list, so, but that may not be in place yet. I do know that the state of South Dakota has been working on that. Was that your question? or? Yeah, I, I, I just wondered why the, they, the deceased counted as part of the threshold for the 75%. <laughs> the state law is apparently outdated with... Yeah, and I mean, it's not the city that controls the voter registration. Right. Right. and. You know, we could potentially go in, but then how much staff time and, and energy is going to be dedicated to trying to determine who actually should be registered to vote there and who should be excluded and whether or not a majority of the registered voters that still actually reside there. I mean, now you're talking a lot of man hours. and Right. My so. last question to you, Joel, is be appropriate to, to make that motion today to get some action going on to have staff uh, drop the necessary ordinances to make that happen, this involuntary annexation? It's really what we're looking for is to give us direction to move forward and then, you know, there would still be an actual approval of the annexation, but there's a lot of staff work that needs to occur. Now we have to, because it's not voluntary, now we're going to have to do an annexation study and some other things. So this just gets the ball rolling on that. Well, let's, uh, hopefully we can get that motion here at this committee level so that the council can get staff working on that as soon as possible. Thank you. Chair would like to recognize Alderman Nordstrom. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'll make that motion to authorize staff to start working on the process for involuntary annexation. And if I may hold the floor, get a second. And I've got a motion by Nordstrom to authorize staff to start work on the involuntary annexation of the remaining of Big Sky neighborhood and a second by Laurenti. Alderman Nordstrom, you still have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. The question is for uh, the city attorney's office. Uh, Joel, if you can uh, provide a little bit of insight about approximately how long we'll take to do the, uh, the, the paperwork to get it ready for the uh, annexation part. It's actually the planning department that would do that, so I would defer to Brett. Yeah. Mr. Limbaugh? Yep. Yeah, Patsy and I are making hand signals with each other. She uh, handles annexations. I believe she hold, held up four uh, fingers, meaning four months. Thank you. Okay. Um, I appreciate all the staff work that's done, been uh, put into this. Uh, I got to read some of the information prior to this, and uh, um, so. It, Good luck with the next three months. I know you've got a lot of work to do. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 14 is a request for the City Council to partially waive the attorney-client privilege with John Nooney regarding his conversations with Alderman Jerry Wright regarding former Alderman Ron Sasso mm -hmm. in conjunction with Mr. Nooney's representation at the City in the lawsuit involving Lazy P6 and Orville Davis. I'd like to, I've got a motion by Laurenti to approve. Okay. Second by Drew, I'd like to um, ask the City Attorney to give us a brief explanation on what we are actually approving. Thank you, Madam Chair. I know the investigator the city uh, council retained, I think, uh, last week. He indicated to me he would like to interview Mr. Nooney regarding the comments he made in the uh, communication to our insurer. I talked to Mr. Nooney about that. He had some concerns about whether or not ethically he could speak with the investigator because of the attorney-client privilege. And so we discussed it, and this, as a result, uh, this request came forward. So what we're asking you to do is to waive the privilege as it regards uh, Mr. Nooney's conversations with Alderman Wright regarding Ron Sasso. It would not be the intent to waive the privilege on any other subject. 
and I have attached a memo that further outlines that that hopefully you can review prior to Monday night. Thank you, Joel. And this will be going to Tuesday night City Council meeting. Um, Correct. Sorry, Tuesday that's night. That's okay. So any further discussion? Seeing no further lights, we do have a motion to approve. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Got a motion by Laurenti to adjourn, second by Nordstrom. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you, everyone.